But Zemkovich says if the proper spill management procedures had been in place, whether enforced by the state or federal government, the water company could have reacted more quickly to the spill and possibly prevented the contamination of the drinking water. Let's just go back to the spill prevention and uh, procedures. If, if in fact each water system had a, an indication of what was upstream of them and had an emergency response plan in place and knew what chemicals to look for and they were notified of a leak, okay, there's a lot of ifs now, then they would know what to analyze, they would know when to shut off their, their intakes. In other words, we wouldn't be relying on the, the water system itself to simply monitor every gallon of water that goes into the system. That would be extremely expensive. Brian Stanley with the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades told lawmakers the chemical leaked from a hole in the bottom of the tank, which could have been caused by corrosion. Stanley explained tanks storing corrosive chemicals are not required to be painted with a protective coating under state law, but many site owners choose to have it done to protect their equipment and prevent leakage. He says tanks owned by state entities like water storage tanks are required to be inspected every four to five years, but that's not the case with private organizations. Some states um, have their own separate rules where they say tanks have to be inspected every four, five, six years. That's up to the states to set those rules. Currently here there's not that rule. But West Virginia, we don't have any rules. Okay. Thank you.